Hey, I'm your News 6 anchor and insider guide, Crystal Moyer, here at the Kennedy Space Center's Visitors Complex, where it played set to a movie that's out right now in theaters, Fly Me to the Moon. I'm right outside of the Apollo Saturn V Center, and it houses all of the artifacts from the Apollo missions used in the film. Including the Astro Van that was actually used to transport astronauts to the launch pad in the 60s. And the movie company said, we want to use that. They went and borrowed it from the visitor complex, took it out there, but it doesn't have an engine. So they had a bunch of people with ropes, like pulling it <laughs> as it looks like it's driving. Daryl Nail is a NASA launch commentator and had the unique opportunity of escorting comedian Ray Romano and his family on set about a year ago, sharing these photos. It was funny. I, I asked him, like, what role are you playing in this movie? And he's like, I'm, I'm like an assistant flight director. He's like, I don't know anything about space. He's just so down to earth, though. So you take him around to a different spot and he was just like anybody else seeing something for the first time, you know, the crawler transporter. He's like, wow, look at that. That's amazing. Kids, come over here. Let's get a picture. Fly Me to the Moon is a rom-com drama film about a romance between characters played by Scarlett Johansson and Channing Tatum surrounding NASA's historic Apollo 11 moon landing. Nail says the movie, while fiction, incorporates many historic moments and landmarks from Kennedy Space Center. One of the scenes, they feature the rocket garden here. Yeah, that was a cool scene. And what they did was they brought a LIDAR scanner, they set it up, and this thing meticulously scanned all of this rocket garden here. And then they took this entire scene and they put it right next to the VAB. You see movie vans traveling down the road and, um, and you knew some vehicles probably had some stars in them, so it was, it was an exciting time. KSC Visitor Complex COO Theron Protzi says it took a lot of coordination with 200 production staff members and hundreds of extras for some scenes. How do you feel about watching this movie back and do you have a sense of pride? Yeah, pride is an understatement. I mean, we're on hollowed ground. I mean, some amazing engineering, uh, the women and men that have made the space program and what it is today and what it was from Apollo. I mean, that was the genesis, right? Here's another snapshot from the set showing some more movie magic. They used real footage for the moon landing, mm -hmm. but they used a fake moon for the moonlight, <laughs> which was kind of hilarious. The fake moon was this gigantic LED panel that was suspended from a 300 foot crane. I posted more photos from the set of Fly Me to the Moon in the article on clickorlando.com slash insider. While you're there, you can enter to win a family four pack of tickets to Kennedy Space Center's Visitors Complex. From Brevard County, Crystal Moyer, Getting Results, New Six. Oh my God, I mean. I love it, I mean, sound the nerd alarm. I am all Space? In. Yes, it's so, that's. I love the behind the scenes stuff and just knowing yeah. how they created certain things. It's really neat. Yeah, it really is. Fly me to the moon with Scarlett Johansson, you can sign me up <laughs> any day of the week. I got no problem going if that's the case. And by the way, it's free to be an insider. Just head to clickorlando.com slash insider to sign up.